Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good. Uh, today I got a 2020 Boker Camp Knife, and for our friends in Germany, we'll call it a Sport Messer. And um, what we're going to do is I'm going to do a review on the knife, and then I'm also going to field test a couple of the tools, the bottle opener and the can opener. As you'll see over here, we got everybody's favorite uh, forest ranger, the Voodoo Ranger and a can of uh, Bush Original Baked Beans. Um, and then we'll see what's in the box too. But first let's take a quick spin around the block. I won't take long because we got lots to do. Um, right here to the left on the plaid cloth is a Boker Four Star in a beautiful stag. And that knife right there is um, my favorite stag handled knife in my collection. And this Boker Camp gives it a run for the money, but um, I still like the Puma better. But we can all vote on that. You guys can take a look at both of them and um, leave a comment below on which one you like better. To the right of that is a 60s Camillus Barlow, a 1980s Frost Canoe in a smooth Appaloosa bone, and um, to the right of that is a Canal Street um, Smooth Caramel Brown Bone Barlow. Get that all out in one click. And as you'll see, the Canal Street has that really cool Barlow stamp and a serial number on it. Over here you have a 50's Boker Scout Knife and a Shat Morgan Mother Pearl Gent. Up here is the Mar and Grosh number 35 GEC pattern made by GEC. Um, in the back row there you have at the bottom is a Bulldog USA made by GEC. Above that a Victorinox uh, Tinker in the Warthog theme. On the block here is a Queen City Queen Cutlery. Granddaddy Barlow, and that's a tribute to the old fisherman Barlows back in the day. Um, behind that's the Shat and Morgan that I just did a video on. And behind that is a K-Bar dog, Dog's Head Hunter in another beautiful stag handle. And right behind that is the Canal Street Fixed Blade. And on top, as always, is the Shat and Morgan clasp uh, with the John Henry etch. Over here, you're going to see way in the back there is a Bulldog first generation tobacco barlow, a 1960s to 70s um, Camillus Boy Scout, or Cub Scout knife, I'm sorry. And then there's the medallion and my favorite lucky coin. And of course the bush, bean, bush baked beans and the Voodoo Ranger Brewski. So let's take a look what's in the box. Oh, the model number for this is 100501. And it comes in this beautiful display box you get. Um, a little carry pouch it has a little tightener on it. Poker Messer. And that's the warranty, I think. And it comes wrapped in here and then just some other things. But if you put it down here, it'll secure down in these little bands. What's this say? Quality control. All right, well, let's take a look at it. Enough playing around. Slide that off to the side. Pull this up a bit, and here she comes. So this is a six-tool camp knife. Um, what I like about it is you got actually get a clip point 
instead of a little spear blade or a little pen blade I'm I mean I uh, got the can opener a spear point um, yard um, primary blade and the cap lifter screwdriver and at the bottom you'll have a corkscrew and on, on the other side is a punch to do some leather work and as you'll see this uh, some beautiful stag covers here um, I'm not sure I didn't look to see if the shield is pinned in it may just be glued in but it's it's uh, some good work it's in there nice and tight so I don't think it should come out let's take a look see if we can get show you the texture on this maybe if we go this way there we go so it's got some really good textures some really good colors it's a little bit darker than I'd like but I, I still like this nonetheless um, here is the Puma stag so you guys can vote on what you like better and we'll show you the pile side of the boker here in a sec Very nice piece of stag there, too. And once again, it's got lots of texture. And some good coloring, especially towards the bolsters. The pin work is spectacular. No, no problems, no cracks. And we'll take a look at the back side. Of the Puma so if you like darker colory stag the bulkers your your winner I always hate to do that like what's best but figured why not and that gives me a good chance to show off my Puma four star which is just a great knife but anyway Let's take a look at the tools. Pull this back. Now that everyone got a good look at that. Let's pull out the punch. There's a lot of um tension on the punch snaps down quite hard as with the um, corkscrew then over here cap lifter screwdriver I just clip my nails there's a lot of tension on that Nice shape. It's kind of short, but that'll get you some leverage to loosen the screw. And here, why don't we um, check that out right now? Check out this bottle cap. Get drunk and ride your bike. Okay, let's taste that. That's good beer. And now, let's see what do we got. The can opener. Looks like she'll do the job. What do you think? We'll try in a second here. 
nice spear point doesn't have the reversed frost etch which I kind of like I'd rather have it just um, I oiled this so there's gonna be a lot of a lot of smearing effect but as you'll see it's a really nice blade Boker, Solingen. But you get the picture. Then over here, this blade, that was by like a four or five pole. It's not real strong. But it has a lot, quite a bit of tension at the top. Gives you a lot of security. Now this little secondary blade is probably like a three and as you'll see there's not much tension at the top so that's going to be your light duty knife nice profile nice and sharp all right so we check the can opener out it's no time like now Let's see if I can set this up properly. Probably shouldn't be doing this with a collector piece, but I don't think it'll scratch up the opener that much. Oops. As you can see, it's been a while since I did this. But, if you're out in the field, next to the fire, looks like no problem. Not quite as fast as like a guy that has a cabin out in the woods, but... Anyway, you get the picture. Let's see what the blade looks like, how it held up. Yeah, a little bit of scuffing. But that's what it's used for. Though it looks like a museum piece, I think I'm going to carry it. Very nice knife. So, on the way out here, we will, if I can find something to put it on. Should I weigh it? Let's weigh it real quick. We still got time. Got nothing but time. And I'm going to weigh it in ounces. 4.25. 4.225. Not too bad. Whoops, I almost knocked the beer over. So on our exit here, we'll put the Boker Camp. Put the Boker Vintage. 1950s Scout and put the Puma four star. Get them all lined up properly. So, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Until next time, my friends. Take care. Peace. Bye-bye.